once again to the Dead Vault Horror Show. Hopefully you bought your bloody popcorn and your sodas, as well as you will need your shovels, as always. Tonight, we are exhuming a coffin classic here out of the Dead Vault Horror Show tonight. And this, my friend, is from 1976. Satan's Black Wedding. A man travels to another city for his sister's funeral to try to find out why she killed herself. He discovers that she is actually a vampire and returns from the dead to take revenge on everyone. <laughs> Once again, my friends, enjoy this coffin classic out of the dead vault. Satan's Black Wedding. Indeed, let's take a midnight stroll. <laughs> Once again, I hope you have your shovels, my friends. Enjoy this coffin classic. What beautiful music they make, my friends. Indeed, this vampire pill should not suck at all. <laughs>
You're doing it wrong. Isn't it supposed to be straight up and down? Well, let's make some bloody martinis already, and let's get jiggy. Jesus this, Moses that, Abraham hit me with a whipple ball bat. <laughs> Let's hotwire this thing and go see some titties. Let's go. Mr. Gray. If there's anything I can do for you, don't hesitate to call upon me. Thank you. Are you going back to Hollywood right away? Not before next week. Then I imagine you'll be staying at your sister's house. Yes, that's right. Your sister was a remarkable young woman. So... Extraordinarily beautiful. Well, I won't keep you any longer. But remember, if I can be of any help to you, don't hesitate to call upon me. Yes, I will. Thank you. Goodbye. Make sure to Goodbye, bring your buddy. Ouija board and summon me a girlfriend, damn it. It's lonely back here. Just take a left right over this cliff and we can end this. <laughs> Somebody open a window. I think somebody dropped a deuce. Somebody forgot to put in a tampon. Ew. Something far more terrible than a suicide took place in here. Who are you? I'm Lieutenant Scott, with the Homicide Division, Monterey Police Department. Then you don't believe my sister committed suicide? No, I don't. I was told Nina left a note.
is your sister's handwriting, isn't it? Yes. I thought so. We checked it against other samples of the writing. Now, there's no doubt that it's authentic. Look, Lieutenant, I... Indeed, I the Baphomet smeared in blood years. on the wall is and definitely the first clue. My work keeps me in Hollywood Genius. most of the time. <laughs> but I doubt very seriously that anything so awful could have occurred that would have driven her to suicide. The inside of this room doesn't look like suicide. And a couple of other things that don't make any sense at all. Like what? The third finger of your sister's left hand was missing. Oh, God. Your sister was a writer, wasn't she, Mr. Gray? Yes. She wrote for magazines. But lately she'd been working on a novel. Well, can you think of She's any been writing for Plague Girl. She would write suicide. <laughs> no, I mean, maybe to scare a boyfriend or something like that? No. Nina wasn't that kind of a person. Lieutenant, you said there were a couple of things that were bothering you about her death. What was the other? Well, there wasn't a drop of blood left in your sister's body. The coroner said he'd never seen anything like it. It was as though an embalming machine. Well, I actually stuck a straw in her neck and finished her off for our poor buddy. <laughs> Whosoever believeth in him shall have life everlasting in the world of darkness. He is pleased with you, Nina. He called you daughter. And now you must complete the covenant. Every member of your family must die. Damn telemarketers, quit calling Hello? here. You'll Thank never you get that money. It's mine for Thank the you, strippers. <laughs> Hello, darling. Hello, Christine. How are you? I'm fine, Mark. I tried to call you this morning. I had to do some looping, but I'm finished now, and I want to come up to Monterey. I think it's better if you don't. Mark, I know you're trying to spare me, but I think you shouldn't be alone. Christine, I want to talk to one or two people, friends of Nina's. Then I'm going to close this house and give the keys to a real estate agent. I should be back in Hollywood by Tuesday. And I want to talk All to right, the banker Mark, so I can get my want. check. <laughs> Tell your Pay me. and how sorry I am. Yes, I'll do that. I miss you. I love you, Mark. Christine, I'll call you tomorrow. Goodbye. We're finished out here, Lieutenant. Okay, I'll uh, I'll see you downtown. Oh, and Bill. Yes. Next time, be a little more thorough when you look around. There must be a maniac loose. Yeah, well, I almost wish it were as simple as that. What do you mean? Well, this thing confuses me. It even frightens me a little. Not just your sister's death, but everything together. Every strange thing that's happened here in the past year. Like what? Like too many violent deaths, for one thing. Bodies completely drained of their blood. What happened out there in Carmel Valley? See, there was this family, the Grace, man, his wife, three kids. We found every one of them butchered. I've seen some horrible sights in my life. Nothing that matched the expression of horror on those kids' faces. Especially when your wife is naked. Talk about a real yeah. horror movie. If it is, he's a madman who's been running around in clothes made 200 years ago. 
What? See, the Grace and children put up a fight for their lives. Two of them had pieces of black cloth clenched between their fingers when they found them. The police laboratory in San Francisco said that the cloth was made between 150 and 200 years ago. Let's put the pedal to the floor and do some burnouts in the parking lot. <laughs> Better than the doctors think I am. I wanted to go to Nina's funeral so badly, but they wouldn't permit it. I kept everything as simple as possible. It's just unbelievable. Poor Nina. Aunt Lillian, when was she last here? <laughs> she only came twice after you left for Rome. I was worried about her, Mark. She'd begun to behave very strangely. And then he came multiple the times in the bathroom. Had an <laughs> and that's all she talked about. Weird happenings, Marcus. Things that frightened me. You know, I looked all through her desk, and I couldn't find her manuscript. That's odd, because she was nearly finished with it. She told me she had been going up to that old church for the past six months and had all the material she needed to finish. We used to play there when we were kids. I remember we could never get Nina to go inside, though. Well, she wasn't afraid to go inside that wretched place to research her book. Well, wasn't she, she burned it, she multiple times by back. some random stranger well, with a blowtorch? I, mean the stories. <laughs> I think I birthday. would be scared. Well, they're horrible. Renegade priests and nuns, Children sacrificed to the devil. Really frightening. And that's what Nina was writing about? Yes. All that devil that mambo jahambo. She began telling <laughs> those old stories again. Do you know, Marcus? She knew more about it than any person I've ever known. Nina had a wonderful imagination. Because the face don't give a damn. <laughs> Once again, where's my bloody martinis at? Mr. Gray, I'm no going to work for your aunt no more. Why? What's wrong? I'm afraid in this house. Something was trying to get into here last night. What? I don't know what, but I hear it at the door. Never mind them. That's just the crackheads from down no. the street. <laughs> Please give me a day or two to find someone to replace you. I stay only this one more night. Thank you. Goodbye, Stella. Goodbye, Mr. Gray. Don't forget to wash your butt before you get back here. No sloppy seconds for me. <laughs> Once again. Welcome, my friends, to the Dead Vault Horror Show. 
Today we are exhuming 1976 coffin classic, Satan's Black Wedding. Indeed, throw the bouquet and let the dismay slay. <laughs> Somebody put on some Mozart or something. This one key is driving me crazy. <laughs> Can I have a side of pancakes with some eyeballs scrambled? <laughs> Never mind the screaming, hear those piano keys so soothing, and the screams are just a bonus. <laughs> now that sucks. <laughs> Come out, come out, wherever you are. <laughs> we all want a bite of that crimson and clover. <laughs> We are all the dead kids. <laughs> Indeed, nice sharp teeth. Talk about a two for one special. <laughs> two for the price of one. Or should I say, two corpses with one fang. <laughs> We have a straggler. Watch out. She might go somewhere or not. <laughs> They say it was written by the Dark Ones. Once you have been bit, that is it. <laughs> How did Elvis Presley get in this movie? <laughs> oh, wait a minute.
I say, let's floor it. Let's do a jumping the curb. <laughs> Is this that hooker boathouse you've been telling me about? <laughs> Let's rock it. <laughs> and don't come knock it. about Nina's death. I honestly don't. But she knows something I've about that the gyrating pelvis. <laughs> it's the most insane and frightening thing I've ever read. Yes, I did work on it with her. But only in the beginning. Months ago. Well, it's vile. Only two very sick minds could create something like that. A mortician. And a grave robber? <laughs> Give this guy his guitar and his flat jacket. <laughs> Let's see him wiggle his pelvis around the room. I have no right to barge in here like this. Just go. Mark, I was as shocked as everyone else was at Nina's death. But I wasn't completely surprised. Jean, if there's anything you can tell me about Nina's death, don't hold it back. I don't know if you'll want to hear what I can tell you. I think that Nina went insane. Did she? If it had been that, I would have known what to do to help her. Well, but what was it? Mark, I once cared for you very much. And I think at one time, care for me. So believe what I'm about to say. I'm not hiding anything. Nina's dead. Nothing can alter that. Leave things as they are and remember Nina as we both knew her once. Jean, I'd like nothing better than to leave my A hot right blonde now. with a fat rack? Didn't she play in pose and playboy? I, I couldn't leave without knowing why. Did she kill herself? She was capable of doing anything. You're lucky that you didn't see her these past few months. When did you see her last? About two months ago. We'd begun work on her novel last August. I thought it was a sensational idea for a book. That old church with its vampire legends. Indeed, I love Count Chocula. One of my favorite breakfast cereals. <laughs> In September, we started going up there. That's when Nina began to change. She'd stand and gaze at that weird old building. There was something she horrific passed. lurking in that building. <laughs> something only she and it knew. She began to go there at night, all alone. And actually make babies with spirits. <laughs> Talk about being impregnated. Better get the plates ready. <laughs> In the 
Jenny to work on the book. It was amazing. She described in detail events that had happened 150 years ago. Names, dates, vivid descriptions. At first I thought Nina had a fantastic imagination. But now I know it was something else. She couldn't make up scenes of that kind. Unless she was Each batshit crazy. <laughs> Terrifying. Lurid. Thank God we have talk text. <laughs> Please tell me we're not going to that evil dead abandoned cabin again. <laughs> Somebody give this guy a guitar already. I want to see him play something, damn it. Wake up, Uncle Albert. It's past your bed feeding. <laughs> Bloody martinis for two? Did somebody fart in here? Somebody please open a window. It's nailed shut, Mr. Gray. It's the final resting place of a former rector of the church. What are you doing here? Oh, I often come here. It was once consecrated ground, you know. Tell me, what are you seeking here? I don't know. I was told my but does that mean I can't here. order a hamburger? I want to find out why. <laughs> oh, that's quite simple. I can tell you. Nina loved this place. Good old Nina. I find that very strange. She owes me twenty. It's an extraordinary <laughs> place, Mr. Gray. I'm somewhat of an expert on its history. Perhaps you'd be interested in hearing some of it. Yes, I would. Did you know that Satan himself once appeared here in this crypt to a group of nuns? No, I didn't know that. Did they do naughty things? Come. <laughs> I'll show you the spot. Did he say he was going to let me see their underwear left over? Yeah. It was at this spot, nearly a hundred and fifty years ago, that Satan rose from hell. The sisters were praying here for the souls of the dead. When Satan appeared to them in all his magnificence, they stopped praying to their invisible God 
And from that day forth, they worshipped a new master. The Twinkie God. Indeed, all that cream thing. filling and knowledge of just superb, great, but tasty, those delicious. Are only legends. <laughs> Tales. Yes. Yes, of course they are. My sister was writing a book about this place. Did you know about it? Indeed, yes. In fact, you might say I was her collaborator. I don't understand what your interest is in all of this, Father. Purely an historical one. I thought perhaps you might share your sister's love of this place. I don't. But you both played here as children. Did Nina tell you that? They were playing with yes. Ouija boards, summoning old grandma. I think this terrible place cost my sister her life. And her pog she collection. She became obsessed with it. <laughs> until it drove her out of her mind. But you forget the teachings of the church, Mr. Gray. In dying, we are all of us reborn in a more perfect state. Into a pile of ash or dirt, my friend. <laughs> Your future is definitely grim. <laughs> Once again, welcome to the Dead Vault Horror Show, my friends. Enjoy this coffin classic. Where's the cream filling, dammit? Your aunt and her housekeeper were both murdered. We don't know who did it. It was the Twinkie God, I told you. You have to leave a Twinkie offering. No crying, please. Just suffering. <laughs> Hey, nice rack. Mark, I'm terribly sorry. Now, if you don't pour me a bloody martini, I will sever both of your heads with one swipe. It's like some horrible nightmare. But one that we can't wake up from. Indeed, a nice walk on a bloody beach. All we need is a little suntan lotion, a few box of condoms. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't even think I have a pee pee. ends up pulling a Ted Bundy back here, no one will hear her scream. Ah. 
Let's throw her out there for the sharks already. <laughs> you know that I'm still in love with you. A nice candle setting, burning bright by the fire. Hopefully he doesn't get fire crotch from this one, Mrs. STD Queen. <laughs> Feel the burn. Smack my booty. <laughs> Wait a minute, is that jelly? Who keeps touching my ass? Smoking a doobie, I see. Now they are definitely higher than a kite. <laughs> Maybe we should cut them come down. You think I can get a quickie while he's passed out? <laughs> hey, get over here. What the hell is all that damn racket? Kick in the door. Let me tear them to shreds. They don't call me Slasher for nothing. I altered it while you were sleeping. I Very figured hard. the fangs would look better. It's horrible. That is Nina. It, it looks like some kind of awful fiend. A vampire. Oh, I, I can't believe any of this. There must be an answer. I think Mark should leave here immediately. Under the circumstances, Mark, I think Miss Holt is right. And pay me a hundred no. bucks and put Don't him foolish, in the Mark. guitar. I don't know what we're going to discover, but I intend to stay and find out. Elvis knows best, damn it. <laughs> Once again, our gyrating characters are definitely in order. 
used to hear. No. It's dark in here. Turn on a damn light. Did he steal my wallet? What beautiful music it makes. I love Vampyra. Speaking of, Vampyra, if you're watching, I love you. <laughs> We saw it move. Thought? You don't get paid to think, damn it. Once again, Mr. Elvis Presley, everyone. <gasps> what is it? <sighs> the window. And our delusional girlfriend. <laughs> what did you see? Somebody having sex with that dog again? Nasty bastards. Except both Gene and I have a bad case of nerves. Mark, that uh, priest you asked me to check on was uh, named Dakin. D-A-K-I-N, right? Yes. Well, I called the bishop's office and they never heard of him. In fact, there's no priest with that name anywhere in Northern California. That's impossible. I just he spoke slid with by. <laughs> now, you said that you saw him up at the old church last Tuesday. That's right. Well, they did tell me one thing at the bishop's office. There was a Father Dakin, only spelled D-A-K-E-N. He was the uh, rector of the old church. But Mark, he's been dead for 150 years. Well, that makes perfect sense, my friend. Once again, our bloody butty vampire is definitely over 160 years old.
Is that a candle for the devil? <laughs> Watch out for the brain fragments on the ground. Who is it? God damn it, answer. Take my hand, my friend, for the Rita Round of Doom. <laughs> Bloody martini straight from the tap. <laughs> No, I have everything I need. Just hurry back. You sure you won't change your mind? Forgive me, Mark. But I can't help it. I hate the whole stupid ritual of funerals. And your gyrating okay, pelvis. <laughs> you won't Elvis be Presley, everyone. No, A big round of applause. Not in the daytime. It's really very beautiful here. I think I'll always remember it. I'll see you in about three hours, Jean. Mark, I'm sorry about not going to the funeral. I hope that you really do understand. Of course. I love you, darling. All alone again, I see. Well, let's get acquainted while you fainted. <laughs> Little Red Riding Hood. He he, what beautiful big eyes you have. <laughs> what beautiful big teeth you have. <laughs> Just relax. Nina has it all under control.
Well, it looks like our dear friend here is infected with the fang juice. <laughs> That's because you can't read Braille. <laughs> Hopefully they're not at that cabin again. This way, Mark. Gene, be careful. I hope you brought your Ouija boards. <laughs> I'm here, Mark. Dakin, what in God's name is this? Gina's told you that I would explain everything surrounding Nina's death. And so I shall. He is the pimp of darkness. <laughs> nonsense got to do with my sister's death? Your sister isn't dead, Mark. She lives in high glory. One of his chosen. She actually sleeps on my couch. <laughs> Mark? Nina. Told you she was okay, old boy. <laughs> now let's celebrate with more bloody martinis. Tonight you and Nina will be married in accordance with his wishes. Satan himself will rise from hell to marry you and Nina. Wait a minute, you're gonna marry your sister? Uh... In time your union will produce a son. One who will rule in exalted glory beside Satan. By human standards, your offspring will be horribly deformed. But he will be beautiful in the eyes of Satan. Very beautiful indeed. <laughs> well, Mr. Elvis Presley, it's time to gyrate with the devil. <laughs> Fill the flames burn. <laughs> Mind if I dip my french fries in there? 
He's making a break for it. Come on, moving up that hill. If there was ice cream up there, you would get up there. <laughs> Bring me back my Count Chocula. Cyclum in favilla, teste David cum Sibylla, quantus tremo est futurus, quanta nictus, <laughs> or should I say, a de dui dumbella? <laughs> baby. It is bright out here for my liking. But once again, my friends, I say thank you for joining us here on the Dead Vault Horror Show. Once again, that coffin classic we exhume today was Satan's Black Wedding. But once again, I say thank you, my friends, for tuning in with us tonight. Hopefully you enjoying yourselves, all of my boys and ghouls. But nevertheless, I hope you have your shovels ready throughout the week. We will be exhuming multiple coffin classics out of the dead vaults. So once again, subscribe to the YouTube channel, as well as check out archives.org. Details at the Dead Vault Horror Show. Once again, from the depths below, in to the fog, we go, my friends. Until next time.